We've got a problem with a 2006 Toyota Tacoma. And the issue is, after the engine runs for a while, whether it's being driven or not, or whatever, but once it gets nice and hot, if you shut it off and you turn the key to try to start it, nothing happens. So this thing's nice and hot. It's been running, driven around, all that other stuff. And so, you know, we, we reach around here to, to turn the key. And you can see nothing happens. No click, no nothing. It's like there's no, no starter signal, uh, nothing at all. Now the check engine light was on and we found a code, a P0705, <clears throat> which is a transmission range sensor input problem. Okay, and so what we've done is we've hooked up a scan tool, obviously, we got the code out, so we must have a scan tool, but we've, we've gone into the data stream and this is just a, an example of why why the PIDs are so important in the data stream. You gotta know your PIDs because it makes diagnosis so much easier. So we've got, um, what I've brought up here is I brought up the PID for neutral position switch signal. Now you can see this, on this particular scan tool, this is the Toyota TechStream, which is one of the scan tools that, that we have up here. Uh, but you don't need to have the factory scan tool to get this kind of a, a PID. This is nothing all that special. You know, you can get this PID and, um, gosh, a lot of generic will be two scan tools will, will have this PID. But you, but you can see, you can see right there the neutral position switch signal is off. Okay, that should be on. And when I turn the key, nothing happens because that is, that is off. Right down below it, to give you an example, you know, when I push on the, the stop light switch, which you can see down below, it comes on. Okay, shuts off. Everything is fine. If we go down through the rest of the range switch, which we have all these PIDs for over here, okay, so when I shift when I shift to reverse, see how the shift switch status reverse range PID comes on. And as I as I move to neutral, okay, we're coming back over to here because this is neutral, neutral and park that should be on. Still not on. And as I shift down through the, the range you can see that uh, that everything comes on as it's supposed to come on. All right, so that, that range switch is kind of working. Basically what we need to do at this point is we need to, we need to, uh, I wanna verify, okay? So I'm gonna let this truck cool off and I'm gonna verify that with the uh, neutral position switch signal when it's on, let's see if the, the truck will start and it will run, because I, I bet you it will. So it's been about an hour and a half the, via, the truck's been sitting, everything's been cooling off. You'll see on our neutral position switch signal, it now says on. Let's see if this truck now will crank and start up. Okay, so it did start with that switch in the on position. Uh, it's kind of hard starting, I don't know if you noticed it cranks a little bit. It's, this thing's probably got some other issues as well, but but anyway, if we switch down through the gears now, you can see that shuts off in gear, on in neutral. If we if we shut it back off, okay, try it again. Okay, it cranks. Actually, works the way it's supposed to. So it seems like we probably have a neutral position switch issue. And what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead, this one's mounted on the transmission. We'll go down there and we'll, we'll verify our, our voltages in and out of that switch just to be thorough. And um, if we're not getting our voltages, then we'll put a new um, neutral safety switch on it. 